everyone, my name is Alan and I am a professional international model from America and I've been modeling for almost over eight years now. I'm here to talk to you about a big decision I recently made to do a cosmetic procedure. It's the first cosmetic procedure I've ever had in my life and I got it um, while I've been living here in Seoul, South Korea, which as you all probably know is like home to cosmetic procedures. Um, and yeah, it was a very big decision for me. I made this decision because of my personal reasons, not because of anybody else, not because of what anyone else said. I just felt like it was good for my confidence and for my job as well. So I know it's very controversial in some countries around the world, especially my country. In America, if you do a cosmetic procedure, you do not talk about it, you keep it very secret, as my culture sees that as taboo. But in South Korea, I found while living here, um, back and forth for about five years now, that Koreans are not afraid to talk about cosmetic procedures they've had, and they will often discuss with their friends and their family, and everyone sees it as a very normal thing to do. Um, and there's also a very large medical tourism industry in South Korea recently, and so many foreigners from around the world, even from America, I've met a few, um, come to South Korea and they get cosmetic procedures done, or plastic surgery. I'm here today to make this video to be very informative and share my information with those of you who may be interested in getting a similar procedure or cosmetic procedure in South Korea. So let's get started. As a disclaimer, I am not a medical professional, I am not a doctor, so if you have any questions or concerns outside of this video, please contact a medical professional and discuss with them um, firstly and see if you're eligible to do any sort of cosmetic procedure because your health is always the most important thing. It comes before beauty, it comes before changing cosmetic for your appearance. Um, so I just wanted to give you some information on what I experienced during this journey. So you can make it. So what is the cosmetic procedure I decided to do? I decided to do body contouring, aka liposuction. And for those of you who do not know what it is, I personally had no clue what it was before I dove into this field. Um, a procedure to remove fat in target areas in certain parts of your body, and it is not a weight loss procedure. You are not going to lose a lot of weight by doing this procedure. It is just meant to give you a better line, a better shape. So if you have a part of your body that you've been working out and dieting and you've been trying everything and the fat still holds on to there, that is the target of liposuction to just make a better shape. But it's not going to do like magic, it's not going to remove like the fat from all over your body and make you magically skinny. Um, which is something that I thought before. I, I thought liposuction was like for overweight individuals. Um, and I kind of thought there was like machine and it's just like suctioning out the fat, which is not completely wrong. But other than that, I had no clue what it was um, until I started researching about this cosmetic procedure. A suited for individuals who are within, I heard, about 30% of their ideal body weight. It is not for individuals who are really, really overweight. It is best, you know, it's better for your health to try and lose the weight naturally first which is what I did, and then do like liposuction to give you a body, better body contour. Um, quite personal subject, but in the past, uh, I think when I was at my highest, I was also exercising a lot at this time, because um, I played volleyball, so you know, volleyball players, we have kind of big thighs, <laughs> um, and I didn't see a problem with it at that time until I started transitioning, transitioning into doing uh, modeling. But I think at my highest, I was like 160 pounds or more, and for my frame, I'm 5'9". It's not unhealthy, but it was definitely too high for what I'm comfortable with my, with my body. If you are 160 pounds, you are shorter than me, or you're 5'9", or you're taller than me, it doesn't mean that you're overweight. You just need to do what you think is best for your body. And at that weight, I would, let's get back into what I was talking about. Um, this was a very personal decision for me. and. Whenever I was wearing jeans outside and I saw photos, I was very unsatisfied. So I would go to the gym and I would work out like um, five to six days per week. And I would run a lot and I just like, I walk so much. I just try and walk all day, every day, up and down stairs. I don't take elevators, you know. And I paid for uh, personal trainers and I paid for personalized meal plans. I tried every diet under the sun and I'm already someone who eats very healthy because of my job. 
job, I can't be like putting on a lot of weight and I can't be very reckless with my diet and I can't be drinking alcohol. So I mostly eat fruits and vegetables and whole grains and I don't eat processed food. I don't eat like McDonald's. I never eat fast food ever. <sighs> I have to control myself so much because of my job. But even though I only eat like fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and whole grains, still it was so hard for me to get rid of the high fat. It's like impossible. I don't know why, but my body just wants to hold on to my upper thigh fat and it wasn't going anywhere. And so I was talking to a model friend of mine because I know a few of my model friends here in South Korea, they have gotten a lot of cosmetic procedures which they keep under lock and key. They're not going to talk, they're not going to like tell anyone that they got them. They're just like, yeah, this is how I was born. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's mostly because people are very judgmental. Everyone is constantly working to better themselves. There's nothing wrong with wanting to better yourself. <sighs> so I was talking with a model friend of mine at a cafe one day, and I was telling her like, yeah, I just paid for this personal trainer, I just paid for this meal plan, I tried everything, and when I go to the agency, they measure, do all my body measurements, bust waist hips, and they're like, yeah, your hips are way too big, and they'll put you on the scale if you work in modeling. Um, sometimes, I don't know if that's for every agency, but my agency in Korea does that sometimes checks your weight they're like oh what's your weight what what's your measurements and they're like yeah your thighs are too big you're not gonna book anything here and I debuted this time in fashion week but I want to do more shows next season and I know that was a big problem for some of the designers that I met with was my thigh size everything else was fine it's just the thighs <laughs> and so I was talking with a model friend of mine at a cafe and she told me you know what I'm gonna let you know this because it's a secret of mine. I don't want anyone else to know it, so please don't tell them like who I am. Please don't share it with others. <laughs> she told me, um, I know that you're in the same situation that I was, and I'm gonna let you know something that I did. I got a cosmetic procedure called body contouring, aka liposuction, on my thighs. And the procedure <laughs> was quite difficult. However, that is why I have such thin legs now. And I've gotten so many job offers after I did that procedure. I think it was the best thing I ever did for my career. Um, and I got it done at this clinic called 365 MC Hospital in Seoul. And after she had told me a lot of information, I got really interested because before I had no clue that it was something I could even do. After she told me that, I started doing my own online research. What is body contouring? What is liposuction? What does the procedure entail? Is it bad for your body? Is it dangerous? Um, and I just researched everything. That's my personality. And when it comes to cosmetic procedures, because I've never done them before, um, <clears throat> I felt like if you're gonna be changing your body, um, number one, you need to do it for you, and it needs to be something that you really have thought about and you've really researched about. But if you want to change your body, it's going to be permanent. So you need to make sure that you're doing it at the very best place by the very best doctor. Don't go cheap on cosmetic procedures. You're changing yourself. It's a very dangerous thing. <laughs> but that's why it was such a big decision for me. Because I was changing my body and I felt like, is this going to be uh, beneficial in the long term? Is there any negative associations with doing this procedure whenever I'm 50, when I'm 60, when I'm 70? And as I was researching clinics in South Korea, I found 365MC, which I'd already seen a lot of commercials on TV for. Um, and I didn't quite know what was going on. I thought, oh, it's just like a plastic surgery clinic. Maybe there's not just models who are getting cosmetic procedures. And fun fact I learned about researching, the United States, in my country, it is the most common and most popular cosmetic procedure. And it's also one of the most common cosmetic procedures across the world. But that doesn't mean that it's not dangerous. So that's why it's very important to go to someone who is very qualified and has a lot of experience doing this procedure. The procedure uses a very long and thin tube called a canula. Is that how you say it? Canula? <laughs> and it suctions out fat. So if you thought of it as a vacuum, you're not quite wrong. Um, but there are very many different types of liposuction procedures. So your doctor might do a type that's different from another doctor. And so you should be um, mindful about what type of procedure that they're using. Well, um, what kind of method that they're using while doing the liposuction. But these days, um, it's a lot less dangerous because they make very, very small incisions in the legs or wherever you're getting done. I got my thighs done, so make very, very small incisions in the legs and usually they're in hidden places that you cannot see. And then they're gonna use the, the canola, the very thin, long um, metal tube, and they're gonna insert it through the little incision the layers of fat um, and then they're going to suction it out. Tumescent fluid is pumped
dropped into the body during the procedure to numb the area and constrict capillaries, usually made from lidocaine, epinephrine, and saline solution. Um, and as I said, there are many methods of liposuction that can be done, so it's best to check with your doctor what type they will be using. What is 365 MC Hospital? I have done a lot of research on the best clinics to get this procedure done in South Korea. Um, in 365MC, they kept coming up in all of my search results, and all of my friends who have gotten this procedure done, or people I know have gotten the procedure done, have gotten it done in this hospital, and after talking with my friends, they said it's the number one hospital for body contouring in all of, in all of South Korea, and it's also one of the top in all of Asia, and they're the only clinic in all of South Korea that does liposuction, and they specialize in liposuction, they're the only ones who have been accredited and have been um, certified by the Korean Ministry of Health and Welfare. So that's a very big thing for me, um, to be certified by the government, to say that they're safe. They also have a record for the most cases in all of Asia, and I noticed a lot of people coming from other countries to get revision surgeries there, so it also made me feel better that the doctors are so highly esteemed that people come from other countries to get reversion, revisions off of their surgery that might have been botched. And another big point for me was that for over 16 years of being in business, they have never had any casualty, they have never had any debt, they have never had any big complications from getting um, liposuction at their hospital. 65MC is a specialized hospital, that is the only thing that they do at their hospital. They don't do rhinoplasties, they don't do like eye surgery, they don't do anything else, they only do the liposuction surgery. All of their doctors have to be, um, I think it's over like 4,000 cases of liposuction they have to have done to work there at all, and they have to specialize in a certain part of the body. So they're not just going to be doing every part of your body. There's a doctor at the hospital that will only do your legs, that will only do your arms, and there's also two types that you can have done at their hospital. Regular liposuction, and they're using all the modern technology to do that, and then also something called LAMS. There are also five anesthesiologists um, at 365MC Hospital, and there are always a few that are on duty 24 hours a day whenever people are having their procedures done and afterwards, and you will have one assigned to your surgery as well, so that's a very big thing if you are having any cosmetic procedures done in any country around the world, you need to make sure that they have an anesthesiologist on duty, and that it's not just a nurse that's in the industry, because that is one of the most main dangerous things about having a surgery. cellulite on the back which is very normal it's very natural and even if you have the procedure done it's not going to get rid of um, a lot of the cellulite but I felt like it would help a little bit um, if the size wasn't as big for stretching out everything and making it look worse and at least the coloring would not get darker so let's talk about the surgery day <laughs> on the surgery day you have to fast for 8 to 12 hours usually um, I think the minimum hours in advance of the surgery. They check your BMI one last time, um, they want to see the before and after, obviously you want to know that too. And then they sent me up to my recovery room, which is on a different floor, and I changed my clothing there. There's a little locker, there's the bed, next to it is a locker. You lock all your personal items in there, your clothing, and they give you like pasties to put on your breasts. <coughs> and they give you like a little like tea panty in Korea, it's like <laughs> a thong. And warm fuzzy socks with you because it's going to be very cold so you're going to have those on your feet during the surgery after the surgery and then you are going to go what did I do next I went up met with the doctor one last time and he designed my legs he already knew what he was going to do um but they just mark red lines all over your legs so that they can see or 
wherever you're having done, in my case my thighs, red marks all over my thighs to see, um, kind of guide them where they're going to be taking off the fat and what shape they want to make, so there's like all these red lines. And after that, I went to the floor where my surgery was going to be done. So, full staff was so supportive and they're cheering me on, and you walk into this little corridor with like two doors, it's just like sanitation, blows some air on you, and then you walk into one main room, they're going to ask you to go to the restroom one last time, um, and then after that, there's another door, and it's the surgery room. So you go into the surgery room, and you're probably like, heart's beating really fast at this point. Or not, if you've done a lot of cosmetic procedures, but I haven't, so I was quite nervous. <laughs> and they're going to disinfect the part of your body that you're going to have to... So I put on like a little hairnet to keep all my hair up. And then they slathered my legs with iodine solution, so it's like red, it kind of looks like blood. And they just put it all over wherever you're gonna have done. They asked me to lay down, I put my hands down, and in this hand they put the IV in. So they just put the IV in, and then the anesthesiologist came in with the doctor, and I was kind of nervous, so they're like, oh no, everything's gonna be okay, they're so supportive. The nurse that was there, she's like so supportive of me, because she was there with my three consultations beforehand, and so I felt like family like was right next to me. <laughs> from the fluid that they pumped in might come out of your incisions. So in some cases they will uh, like close your incisions or in some cases they will like leave it open so some of the liquid come, can come out. So after the procedure if you have some liquid coming out of your incisions don't worry that is just like a little bit of blood mixed with the tumescent fluid that they pumped into your body and it's natural for that to come out. And after that they kept making me walk. So after you have um, cosmetic surgery like liposuction you have um, body contouring, anything like this done, you're going to need to walk a lot. Because walking a lot is going to make the pain go away, it's going to reduce the swelling, and it's going to help you recover quicker. And it's very dangerous to say. So, in conclusion, my recovery has been going very well. I'm very happy with my results. I'm very happy with the staff and the professionalism of 365MC. So, if you are in Asia, or if you're in Korea, and you're looking to have body contouring, um, or you're just a little interested, I recommend going to 365MC and just having a consultation to see what it's all about. Hopefully I've answered a few questions today. I know that if you have some questions for me um, that are positive or just inquiring about what this procedure is or my whole experience, you can comment below and I will try and respond as soon as possible. So thank you all for watching. I'm very happy that you came to watch and hear my story. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks.